Let's see. All right. Hi, this is Emily from South Carolina, Emily Moss. And she does some amazing paintings, and she's going to have us take a look. You want my favorite one? Yeah. All right, let's turn this thing around. So this one right here is one of my older pieces and always going to be one of my favorites. That's why I price it so high, so nobody really wants to buy it. <laughs> it's called Divine Feminine. <laughs> I did that to one of my paintings, too. I couldn't let it go, so I priced it so high. <laughs> and if somebody wants to buy it, they can. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, it's called Divine Feminine, and that's what it's about. It's about the energy that comes from a female or Mother Earth or when you combine it together. It's inside a Hamza, which is like a symbol of like God or the eye. I totally see that. I feel like she's like <laughs> growing, growing from the world. Like she's like a plant. Mm. I love oh, yeah. it. I love One it. One and the same. Now, my second favorite, I don't know if I should turn this. Um, the lighting is a little weird right now, but I think I'm going to call it Glitch. Um, it's a little different than the rest of my works. That one is uh -huh. too. These ones are, I think all of these are works in progress, even they, if they look finished. But uh -huh. it's a little different. I feel like I've been going bluer lately, and I don't know why. But naturally, I feel like what's coming out is kind of like a confusion look. Even yeah, with this it's one. nice to have different styles though to express yourself. <laughs> I I totally have that too. What else? Yeah, I don't like doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, it's fun too to have a concentration and stuff, but then I, I just get overwhelmed. But I like tried to hide a few different things in here. Like I have my name hidden oh. in that switch. This is it says Emily right there, and I'm not finished with that one either. Um, this one's on the ground right now. This is also oh, I like that one too. <laughs> Thanks. This one's a self portrait. It's gonna have me just kind of standing inside of myself, looking at like, what is that? What? Who are they? What are they <laughs> doing here? And why are they observing me? And it's kind of like how our life is every day. It's like, who's observing me? I don't know. Is it me? Is it you? I don't know. And or, it I have... like, or it could be like, who am I in this big picture of life? Exactly. Definitely everything I think is all art subjective to the viewer and like I can have my own story and it'll transform differently to somebody else. This is Billy Strings doing a crab walk. Nice. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like goofy things. But we have things like Mr. Bill, I like painting life for events and festivals. Um, I like designing things for oh, gonna show us all your prints now yeah these are it's kind of a bundle of different things these are different prints that i have available that are for twenty dollars you could do like two for thirty and uh -huh. i have them on my website as well this is just what's displaying in my studio it's a collaborative with oh, my good wow. friends in here oh sweet so I've, we never kind of do that. I've never done that. I've never done that. That's like such a cool way to like love. Do you live in there or you're just kind of, that's just your studio? When I'm here, basically, but no, I don't live here. This is just my studio and it's where I can come to get some solitude and all the other artists can come and get solitude when they do art too. Anybody come in and do their art or you want to have it home you have that, that arranged we'll get a studio yeah so the first thing that caught my eye when you know you were doing your art is the the skateboard with the tipper art on it that's how um i learned that emily was existed <laughs> i was like wow this is so neat that she did this and what what um like what would you say your first painting is and like what how would you say your styles evolved over the years? 
Okay, so I had my first commission. Well, this is because my mom noticed that I was good at arts because she's good at art. She was in art school before I was born. And my grandma, her mother, just realized she's just as good as us. She just started painting one day. So it's like, that's a genetic thing. Uh -huh. But my mom noticed, and she didn't do it for me, but she kind of guided me. Like, she'd let me do it, and she'd be like, this would look a little better if you did this. But she wouldn't, like, make me do that. And she was taught by the same AP art teacher I had in high school. So we were taught by the same teacher. And um, so she just kind of guided me. And then I had my first commission when I was in fifth grade. And I traded it for a beach field trip. Oh, and it was wow. like a bird, a little rainbow bird uh, for my teacher's dad who passed away. And so I hid the words love dad. In oh. the sim, so uh -huh. that sim of a leaf. So that was the first time, like hiding stuff in my pieces, and I just kind of kept doing that. Uh -huh. But but then I got into high school, went into APR. I had the best art teacher ever, who kind of solidified like my portraits and stuff. And once I got out of high school, it was honestly hallucinogens that kind of advanced are you still there Emily so uh, we were just talking about how your styles evolved over the years and how much influence your um mother and your grandmother um have had and all their artistic qualities that um you feel like also that you um have had over over the years. What was that last part? Um we were just talking about how um you m might have got some of your artistic qualities from your mother and your grandmother. Yeah. So like my grandmother is just finding out about hers and now that's kind of telling me it's genetic because my mom can do realism like I can. Uh -huh. And um, But when I was in high school in AP art, when I had the same teacher she had, he was an incredible art teacher and he just fine tuned my skills. And then when I got out of high school, honestly, I found hallucinogens and it kind of opened up my world in a whole nother way. When it came to art, yeah, I hear. Yeah, I totally can relate. Um, so now, what have you? The last painting you did was the one that you just showed us with the um op. It was kind of like an optical art illusion style. Yeah, the that one with this one right here. That's one of my newer ones. It's more blue. And then this one right here is also one of my newer ones that I'm still working on. It is also more blue and less colorful, which is really weird for my art style, but it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so um, would you say your favorite favorite art um, piece would be the, um, the one with the woman growing out of the planet the one that you priced tie because you didn't want anyone to have <laughs> yeah that one <laughs> is, that favorite, is that your favorite piece of all time yes <laughs> um and how how do you keep a balance between um your art and you know the rest of your life, you know, to keep on going? To be honest, it took me years to figure out, and I'm still figuring it out. Like, you have to be consistent with the art and the marketing and making connections. Like, Honestly, I have no time to just, like, dilly-dally. I feel like I'm unproductive when I do, but even though I love doing it I feel unproductive if I'm not doing something about with the art world yeah. because I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do 
Yeah, I and I need them. It's like as an artist, you have to be all these different roles in one, and like it's up to us to like make that happen. Even though once in a while we might be able to get help, but mostly it's on us. You know, it's like, um, you know, we can't just produce art the whole time. We have to do our own marketing and things like that. It gets rough. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's like there's not really times. To... Yep, I can. I can hear you. It was a little scratchy, but I heard what you said. What What advice would you give to somebody who's just starting out? Um, if you get told no, keep going, because like you're gonna get told no about stuff, and it stuff's not gonna happen immediately. But you gotta be consistent with it. And, like, I spend a lot of time, like, doing stuff and then stopping and then doing stuff again and getting distracted. And I still do the same thing because I have bad ADD. But if you can, like, whip yourself in shape of that with, with that because the marketing is all is just such a huge thing that you got to you gotta do it or nothing's really going to happen. Yeah. And it, so if you're not, like, ready to commit, commit, I wouldn't say that you could – do it as a full-time job but if you can just push through the first parts that are really hard then you'll start getting results with your followers or sales or getting in galleries or and yeah. it might take some time <laughs> do, you, do you collab with a lot of other artists or have you done any collaboration I ask a lot of artists to collab and they're usually too busy, but I do have one that I love dearly. He's, he's my good friend named Cameron Davis of Infinite Horizons Art. And he's an incredible artist and me and him have done some collabs together. I have, I know I have prints, actually I have a couple here that we're just working on. And then I have like a print of one that we did the first time we met, but oh, wow, nice. he's my homie and he'll always collab with me. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you, do you also do a lot of commissioned artwork or is that not like some artists like I mean even for me I I <laughs> so um what were the biggest challenges you faced when you you first started doing art um professionally or teaching myself how to sit in one area for a long amount of time. <laughs> And focus on what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, me, do you have ADD? I, I, I'm pretty sure I have ADD. I haven't gotten diagnosed. Man, my brain is telling me. I already still, I still have a hard time not getting distracted. But that was like my biggest thing. Like if you don't, if you got a good worth ethic where you don't get distracted, like you're good. And then you I feel like practice. even having a good worth ethic it gets in the way. Cause I mean, I. I myself have like, I'm like schizoaffective. So it's like, it gets, it gets in the way, but then it also fuels my art. <laughs> um, I just wanted to thank you so much for being on the channel and taking your time to show us your art and, um, you know, show us your heart for um, what goes into your thought process and everything. Uh, while you create and uh, I hope to have you on soon again when you're um, got some new pieces out and you're doing some shows or you can announce that or however you would like for sure I'm working on it it's a slow process <laughs> <laughs> nothing's ever finished so I feel like other people see it more finished than I do so I'm glad to be on because I, I don't get many interviews so I'm honored yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm really honored to have you and um also that we share um the love for Chipper I think that's really cool it is the coolest thing ever <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh I thought Chipper snowboard 
I'm like, damn it, I don't have. You don't know what to do. Yeah, so look up to. <laughs> yeah, go Tipper. Um, I said, uh huh. Yeah, go Tipper. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to share with us before you get off? Or? Um. So. My name is Emily Moss, but I do paint under the alias Mossy Art. So if you do find me online or on Facebook, it'll be Mossy Art. And then my website is mossy-art.com. And my Instagram is at mossy.art. So oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that you threw that out there because I was um, I should have I was about to ask you that earlier, but then we kept getting chopped off by Zoom. So I'm glad you threw out all your links. Uh, anything else you want to share with them? Or... Um, I'm open for commissions. I have things for sale. I have some stuff not posted on my website. So just message me personally to see what I have. Or if you want anything, I can literally paint anything for you. But other than that, that's it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Emily. I'm so happy to have you on here. Thank and you. I hope that you can get out to a lot of people through this as I keep growing. And I hope so. And you're the best. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Huh? It broke up that last. It broke I up. I just that wanted last to say you're the best. Can you hear me? I just said Thank you're, you. Thank you're you. the best. Yep, I can hear you. <laughs> Thank you. You're the best. And much love. The I'll, internet I'll, is not. We'll have you on again soon. Peace. Much love. <laughs> See ya.